Alright, so I have an idea. Let's take the most definitively controversial website that exists and uh, is publicly available, accessible, and let's combine that with a topic that is the most dividing among individuals, politics. And let's discuss politics and views with a person from the most controversial website, 4chan. Specifically, the board known as Poll, or Politically Incorrect. I have contact with somebody who was a more active user on the website, had to kind of peel back from it, but it's still enough that it's still significant and we might be able to get a good conversation out of it. So, from this conversation, I'm going to ask a few questions and this is going to be an interview with a Pollock. Upon request, our interviewee for today has opted in to be anonymized for reasons of safety and privacy. I'll go with this. Uh, how long have you been going on 4chan? Ooh, uh, let me think here. I'd say probably about 15 years, give or take. Said so about 15 years? Yeah, 15 years. Okay. Um, how about just poll? Probably, probably about the same amount of time. Poll and B were my first boards. Okay. Um, would you consider yourself a Pollock, or at least experienced enough to be in this interview? Yeah, I would say so. Really? What is? What do you think it would take to be considered a Pollock? Um, honestly, I don't think it takes a whole lot. It, I think it's just a basic understanding of board culture, which you could get from any, pretty much anywhere. Um, and I would say pretty much whatever political persuasion poll is at the time. Okay. Um, what other boards do you peruse now? Or at least Ted did you? Um, I used to go on V a lot. Uh, I was never really into VG. I would go to TG quite a bit. Um, I would go to B when I was bored. Um, other than that, not really a whole lot. I mean, I'd visit other boards like Int every once in a while, but I wouldn't say I really hung around on them a lot. Okay. Um, generally speaking, do other boards share the same type of political opinions as Poll? I would say, for the most part, no. I, I think poll does leak out into other parts of 4chan, but for the most part, it is what you would call a containment board. Do you think that that is what's perceived as 4chan's kind of, like, big political views because of how... Oh, definitely. The overall poll, I think, is in the public eye not necessarily truthfully, but in the public eye, represents the whole of 4chan's political alignment. Okay. Um, let's address this from a modern media's perspective. How bigoted is poll? I would say very bigoted. I would not, I don't think they're, it's hard to explain. If you don't understand board culture, it's hard to explain. But they're not as bigoted as they play themselves up to be. Okay, so, yeah, my next question was, do you believe they're bigoted? Uh, I think a lot of them are genuinely very bigoted. I think some of them are just LARPing, just pretending for fun. Um, and I think some people are just callous and disenfranchised emotionally. So they say and do bigoted things, but I think if you really put them on the wire, they would not actually act on those bigoted opinions. So they would just act instead of, they're just all bark and... Yeah, I would say their bigoted opinions are just vocal. I don't think they would ever do anything in real life. Even if they knew they wouldn't get caught, that would actually be considered bigoted. Okay. They just hold it inside, really. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, with shit posting being as prevalent as it is on the site, how much do you, how much do you believe of what is posted is what true people truly believe? That's a hard question to answer. 
genuinely, I do believe a lot of people who visit Toll are somewhat unhinged. Um, there are kind of various levels of conspiracy that people believe in. Uh, a, a normal person would probably say that I'm a conspiracy theorist, but compared to some of the people on Poll, I am very, very normal. <laughs> Uh, some of those guys believe some very outlandish things. Um, and some of the things that they believe that people have called outlandish have actually turned out to be true. Uh, Epstein was named a very long time ago. And lo and behold, he ends up arrested. And lo and behold, you know, he shows up dead and all that. And everyone knows all about that story and everyone knows that it, what actually happened. But that, that's just one of many things that, you know, at the end of the day, Paul was right about. Yeah. Which makes a lot of people uncomfortable, I think. The radicalization, the ideas coming out and being true is really what's scary. Uh, <laughs> what, uh, what news outlet do you believe to have given the worst coverage of the site itself? That is a hard question to answer, man. That's... I get to I get some big questions. <laughs> yeah, that uh, I mean it's 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 a high bar to reach. There's always the who is this for chain. Yeah, and there's Bill O'Reilly's uh, wonderful. Yeah, um, I would say probably the worst representation of it was I want to say Fox. I want to say Fox News. Yeah, I'd say Fox News is definitely the worst uh there have been a lot of bad ones though yeah uh i, I know that there have been so i thought i'd ask that all right what outlet gave it the best it could the best it could the best it could give the best report it could give without you know delving into the same type of um mindset i'd say Sounds rough. Um, I don't watch every news outlet. I want to say MSNBC in recent years, I'll qualify, I think has given a more or less, like, genuine look. Um, I, I, it's not, it's still not great, but I do think they did the best they could. Uh, in terms of just print, I'd say, um, New York Times has done a few articles. That's surprising. Uh, primarily the one about Epstein where um, 38 minutes before his death was announced, uh, the details and things like that were posted on poll. And uh, a lot of our articles came out about that, and I, I liked the uh, New York Times article the best. I'm going to ask, because I'm going a bit off script with that then, do you think that... Do you think that there is uh, people, part of the conspiracy, who post on poll just to give you guys some validity? Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. There's 100%. I think there's even, I'm not sure if they've been caught, caught. I don't know if there's like hard evidence, but there's definitely been government agents whose job it is to surf 4chan and post on 4chan and... The, the same kind of guys who keep track of things on the deep web, except I assume it's a much more boring job. Yeah. Do you think that there's it's ever been part of like a misinformation campaign because of that? I think there have definitely been psyops run on poll. Uh, I think they were run most likely by the CIA or the NSA. I think for the most part, though, the only people running misinformation campaigns on poll these days are probably the Jewish Internet De Defense Force, and, uh, shit, what's it called? They're so useless I forget their name sometimes. Uh, some liberal group, I forget their name, honestly, because <laughs> they're that unimportant, but they occasionally, like, they, they sit in their Discord and they just talk about how they're gonna go on poll and post things that are incorrect. They actually ended up realizing that talking shit about Trump isn't gonna get them very far, so they started supporting, like, Ted Cruz and stuff, 
Because they were like, if we go in there and we start posting about how Hillary Clinton is great, everyone's going to know that we're shills. So they started supporting Ted Cruz instead. So they did like a half psyop because they knew that they're so useless they can't do anything like legitimate. Oh my god. Yeah. What percentage of, would you guess, a poll actually votes? I think it's probably a little higher than the national average. But honestly, I think a lot of those people uh, probably barely leave their house in the first place. Uh, I think definitely, like, way more people on poll vote than the average person. But I still think there's, like, a pretty significant portion of them that don't actually go to the polls. Because they would have to go to a crowded public place. Okay. That's fair. <laughs> I think you can say that about any board on 4chan. Anyone who goes to 4chan regularly. Especially containment boards. Yeah, especially containment boards. MLP. Mm, those guys don't go outside. No, those guys are fucking dead. It on arrival. <laughs> They're like Bubble Boy. <laughs> Bubble Boy was clean. <laughs> uh, seen John Travolta now? <laughs> um, who would you believe most of Poll to be voting for in the current election? Mm, I mean, I think it's pretty obvious Donald Trump. Okay. Coming up. No, no fringe other outside ones you're thinking? Uh, I can't think of any fringe candidates that a significant number of poll would actually vote for. Uh, there's probably a few third party holdouts, because there's always third party holdouts. With insults being a rising topic, uh, they just got logged into the FBI's database as a threat. As an odd segue and poll type question, who would you believe incels would vote for? I think incels would be a healthy split between Clinton and Trump or Bernie and Trump. I think mostly Bernie. Um, incels are so opposed to personal responsibility that I think a lot of their votes are going to go to Bernie. I think a lot of them are going to see Trump as like a kind of savior. Okay. Like when, when the conservatives are in power, I'll get my government mandated GF. Yeah. I think that's how they think it's going to go. And if Bernie, you know, they want to vote for Bernie because the more socialist policy there is, the less they have to leave their house. And if they liked leaving their house, then they probably wouldn't be insults in the first place. What are some topics that Poll brings up as a community that never gets addressed during elections? I mean, easily most of the shit that gets posted about is something that's never going to be regarded as like a legitimate political opinion. I'd say the biggest thing is probably... Israel. Um, people don't want to bring up Israel as a legitimate like, political conversation. It, it's becoming less so these days, but for the most part, no one wants to talk about all the money that's going to Israel and all the support we offer them and how we don't really get anything in return. Okay. And, uh, well, a lot of people write it off as just basic anti-Semitism, but... Even if you, you know, aren't, you know, uh, what would you say? Even if you don't care about the Jews one way or the other, you don't care about their religious or ethnic going on. You're indifferent. Yeah. Uh, politically, the country of Israel, we send a lot of money to them uh, for, like, I would say no actual reason. We, we don't get anything back. We're not buying anything. We're just giving them money. Anything else? Like any other topics like that? Like it comes up, because you, you probably went on there during like an election period. Oh yeah. Def I mean, things heat up during election periods, definitely. Um, I guess I'd say the Clinton Foundation would be another big one. And all of the horrible things they've done. That doesn't get talked about a whole lot in mainstream media. It gets talked about a lot on, like, mainstream websites among normal people. But you won't very often see an actual newscaster bring up what the Clinton Foundation has done in, like, South America. As, as a point of fairness, how are extremists treated on poll? I guess the, um, the most extreme I could think of are the people who actually, like, do 
mass shootings and things like that. That's the most extreme thing I can think of. Uh, for the most part, Paul doesn't like them primarily because they it's bad optics. Uh, and also because they're just kind of like stab losers. Yeah. Um, there are a few that get um, ironically glorified, I would say. But I don't think anyone actually genuinely like looks up to them, or at least I would hope not. Okay. So at least there's a hope. Yeah. I mean... I guess um, it depends. There are a lot of like genuinely insane people like uh, subterranean lizard race kind of conspiracies going on. I think some of those people are probably that crazy. Got it. Yeah, that's well understood. Um, would you say that the amount of harassment to any political extreme is fair and equal on poll? What do you mean by harassment? Mm, what modern media would be considering harassment? Uh, so, so being like just a general dickhead. Just being mean. Yeah. I mean, I don't think. I think you know, being mean is being mean is wrong. I don't think it should be illegal, and also I think it's helpful in the political sphere for opinions to come under fire. Okay. Like. Uh, what the media considers harassment I think is a little I think like following someone around and like stalking them that's what I would call harassment and I think that should be illegal because you know following people around and stalking them and shit is fucked up but just like sending someone an email like Lamau kill yourself bag I mean I I wouldn't call that actual harassment To, to phrase it better not harassment but beratement uh, I would say pretty much anything you post on poll is gonna get quote-unquote berated by someone. I don't think there's anything that you can post anywhere on 4chan that at least one person isn't gonna be like, you're a fucking retard, fuck you. Do you think that keeps it kind of, uh, that everyone of every, that makes it kind of fair as anyone's, nobody, nobody's unfairly, like, justified or... Yeah, I... I would say that uh, pretty much every, it's kind of the great equalizer is everyone is insulted more or less equally, unless... I guess dropping off where you were at, you were talking about the great equalizer. Yeah, um, because everyone is such a contrarian shithead on pole, like no matter what you post, someone's going to just agree with you. Okay. You think that's, like, you said that's a great equalizer. Do you believe that to be fair? Yeah, absolutely. Do you believe that this environment could breed an echo chamber? I believe that environment does breed an echo chamber. (laughs) Of course it does. I mean, uh, I I think it's less less bad for some people than others. There are some people on poll who genuinely involve themselves in other politics and other opinions. And, you know, they have a varied experience. They might read, like, a variety of um, articles and watch a variety of news channels and things like that. I think there are a lot of people, though, who go to poll as, like, their primary source of news. And I think those people slowly kind of get more goofy as time goes on. Because their like their whole political experience is just through poll. Okay, let's. Well, it's it's gonna may lead to delusions and everything. Yeah, I, I think it's the same thing that happens with SJWs. If your entire political and moral experience is just through Tumblr, you're probably not a very mentally healthy person. Yeah. I think it's the same for both sides. I think you know. If you stick yourself in a hole and just stay there, like, yeah, that's not good. Do you think the harsh nature um, is necessary to keep balance in order? Mm, I don't think... I think the harsh uh, rhetoric is a symptom of the fact that the whole thing is anonymous. Without linking a, even a name to what you do, 
you see people's truer natures and they behave without reservation and so I think that's where you get me the true free speech free from even social responsibility it is their true and unfettered opinion yeah and I think that that is important and that's the reason poll has an actual effect on politics is because they they basically shit on each other and then shit out successful ideas kind of the last scripted question um what do you think keeps people coming back for more discussion like what genuinely keeps them from coming back rather than shying away from being insulted every day um the core the true core uh, and the appeal of poll in my opinion is it attracts the kind of person who will disagree with whatever the popular opinion is at the time because you could go on poll years ago and see people endlessly talking shit about George Bush. Like, it hasn't always been this uh, conservative echo chamber. It's always been about, we don't like whatever the media says is good. We don't like whatever is in power and is controlling the greater opinion of the United States. Do you think that the current news board is... is um in any way uh, a common spill out area of poll? Uh, yeah. I, I, I think that poll spills out to every other board. Okay. Um, you can see them all over the place. You will see people telling them to go back to their containment board. Um, I, I do think that uh, they go out to other boards so that they can post poll-like opinions just so they can get a rise out of people. Like, if they post something like, um, on V, like, uh, the reason this game's bad is because a Jew made it. Yeah. When you see someone get mad about it and tell them to fuck off, then the person who posted that is now deeply satisfied. Yeah. Because they got you to be even mildly upset by saying Jew's bad. So, as, like, a unscripted question, then, what would you... How, how often would you say that um, poll leaks out on a TG? I think probably more often than average. I think poll go, gets into TG quite a bit. Um, it's weird. I think that the people who go on TG from poll, they are the kind of people who like tabletop games but don't play them very much because they don't have friends. Yeah, that's fair. I just I just know that there's constant threads about finding out what race is the Jew race. Uh, I think that's mostly just because the concept is hilarious. Yeah. And it's elves, by the way. Oh, I heard it was dwarves. No. Dwarves are cool. Dwarves are based as fuck. <laughs> what would be one thing you'd want that you'd want from this interview to come out? I would say if there, if there, if there was one thing that I want most people to know about Poll, and it has been posted about before, so some people know, their opinions are never genuine. The goal of Poll, of the politically incorrect board of 4chan, is to make you angry. They started an internet grassroots movement to support Trump because they knew it would bother you. That's it. That's the whole thing. But most of the people who support Trump don't support Trump because they, you know, they're super patriotic or they love Trump or whatever. A lot of people do. But most of the people you'll talk to on the internet, they do it because it bugs the shit out of you and it's fucking funny. Like, all these articles about the fucking two scoops thing like all that kind of shit it's hilarious like the more of that shit you do the more Trump is going to keep winning and even if you know about it it's like you can't stop like the Democratic Party can't stop fucking up 
no matter what you do, it, it, because of, I guess, a lot of social reasons, or whatever. But, like, even if you know what you're doing is, is gonna fuck you over, you just keep doing it anyway, Trump is gonna win the next election, 100%. And it's not because Trump, Trump is a good candidate, it's because the people who support him support him because they want to spite you, and because you're too stupid to modify your behavior to get the vote of the average normie. Got it. Well, that's good. All right, and thank you for doing this interview with me and everything. And that concludes the interview. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you got something out of it. Other than that, uh, I have a few more things planned in the future. Uh, most specifically my mental health stuff, but I'm still trying to get some, uh, some interviews together for that. And uh, as long as you just have patience, I'll be waiting and I'll be right here. Hopefully you enjoy my title cards and my stupid edits and everything.